Hello. June 13, 2013. The spouse willingly refused to make me happy by not giving me the wheels from the grill that she picked up by the by the neighbor that sort of a neighbor a friend called her and it was being thrown away and she was into recycling she got fourteen dollars for it that plus whatever else she had the mother agreed with the spouse since it is recyclable I wanted it so that I could make a tall food cart to take food to my mother in her room but these are the people the bullies I live with so the lesson learned don't help the spouse don't ask the spouse for anything don't expect the mother to help you she's my mother by the way to achieve you must be secretive talk only with your dog all right so that's my advice for you today all right I did a SWOT analysis let's see when it started it says threats the threats grandma dies because she's the breadwinner here at this time another threat disrespectful kids and another threat is the angry spouse because we know what she's capable of lying and then the police take me away all right what are the opportunities that we have now well before I get there yesterday she cut the spouse cut the grass in the front she said help me so I helped her but I told her that we should clean the the bottom of the lawnmower first and she said let's clean it after and then she took the grass out of there we un we, we took the spark plug off so she won't get her fingers cut and then we removed the, or she removed I held it down <laughs> she removed the grass from underneath and the wheels and all of that and she saw that it was green and stuck and I said well it's stuck because the last time nobody cleaned it I believe you should clean it after each use at least get all that under there and then she said are you gonna cut the grass sure I'll cut the back and the back is about half as much as the front however the reason I said I'll cut the back is because it is it is harder to cut the back uh, but that's not the reason I, I chose it it's only harder because the spouse says don't run over these plants and I have a squash here and I have pumpkin over there and I and, and <laughs> don't run over it however when she was cutting it she said when are you gonna help and I said don't you have kids you expect your kids to be inside doing nothing I mean they're all wearing goggles I mean the kids have goggles one of them does my son does and I do have extra pairs of goggles anyway the spouse she bought her own goggles and she cut her grass she's learning oh uh, if you're gonna be disrespectful to your husband he'll be disrespectful right back and unloving and unkind so the best advice I have for you is to live alone and for men to live in a tiny home so that the woman won't even think about moving in all right what opportunities do I have you see once they move in they start yelling at you moving your things and then they tell you you can't make a skylight up there all right then 
and then you're going to buy something every tax season. You say, well, let's buy this and this. And she says, no, I don't think so. I won't do that. So I said, okay, you won't do that? Then I won't work. That was my decision long ago. I'm not going to work. Now, I do have barriers to employment, such as being uh, labeled bipolar and being labeled, uh, well, being Baker Act twice and so on. Uh, not having a car. I mean, she has one, but around here, there's only a Winn-Dixie, a Publix, dollar store, and a Walmart. So I've already applied at Winn-Dixie and Publix and uh, Walmart. So that's the end of that. <laughs> I'm on a bicycle anyway. There are a bunch of restaurants, but I don't go to restaurants. Uh, there are a bunch of gas stations, but I'm not allowed to conceal carry. So uh, that means carry a gun. So I'm not going to work. And then I don't like working as a cashier anyway. Uh, you got to think about what you're doing every moment. Nope, too dangerous. So she could get rid of me. We'll see what happens. Opportunities. I could. All of these are. Well, I already bought this course. I just have to use my willpower to get myself to do it. I can make videos, I'm doing that. I can practice Tai Chi Chuan, I'm doing that. I can read the Bible, I'm actually doing it and I'm making videos of that. I'm doing the book of Proverbs. I could get the study guide. I would love to buy Bibleopoly, which is a game where you win by helping other people. <laughs> it's a concept in this house. Uh, buy the electrician's course alright all of that that's coming up you see money comes and goes and little by little I get all the things I want however I really must use what I've already had like I, I just finished doing the real estate course for this morning one page per day because it's boring I don't have the confidence that I'll be able to buy a house or rent a house or things like that. Uh, it's, but I believe that everybody should learn about real estate. So I believe that everybody should read about it and know what, what this is, what that is, what are stamps, what, what, what is a loan origination fee, what is that. So I'm reading about it, one page per day, and I'm keeping a private video on it, like a journal, a daily journal. And then one day I'll look back and say, wow, that's when I didn't believe I could do it. This is after <laughs> I bought a house. Weaknesses from the SWOT analysis. I read to you the opportunities, the threats. I started with the threats, opportunities. All right, the strengths, I, I don't know where the page is. Weaknesses, not enough money, and spouse says no to my ideas. All right, so I'm going to turn that into a strength. I just won't tell her anything, which I don't. <laughs> All right, the SWAT. My strengths, God. I believe in God. Who, who created the world? You know, who created the sun? There has to be a God. All right, God gave me a brain. That is true. Hey, I can help my kids with their homework. Well, I only help one of them, the respectful one. Now, God gave me a mother, and she pays my bills. God gave me a mother to pay bills. That's a strength. God gave me a spouse for sex. 
that's wonderful because otherwise you can't even think God gave me the internet so I can make videos that's nice God gave me a son to play with this is from May 2013 that's true alright here we go God gave me my son my son loves me God gave me my dog my dog loves me God gave me this bed and this room and this iPod and is loaning me this laptop from my mother thank you mother is being nice all things are possible to him that believeth I wear Tai Chi clothes I look incredible I've got 2,000 in my pocket alright all of these are dreams except all things are possible to him that believeth God directs the Sun God directs my steps very true faith without works is dead but faith with works will set you free alright so Daniel get a salt water get a Fresno lens get a steam for the boats engine steamboat Fresno lens salt water electrolysis a the steam engine B the salt water to hydrogen how to fix a microwave radio TV that will be electronic I think here's a picture of my shower in the garage which I was not allowed to do I have my bed I have a door I have a shower I have my composting toilet with three steps probably the other door I was not allowed to do this because it's her house even though my name's on it it's her house alright that's the way it is don't buy anything with a with anybody don't don't buy uh, buy everything alone your own car your own house don't buy anything with a, a spouse if you get married there's only one reason to get married and that's when you're 18 years old and you want to go to college and your dad is rich or it's really just uh, the financial aid people they don't want to give you any money not even loans because oh you're not really an adult because you're not married yet so if you if you you need your parents signature on things on this and that until you're about 24 25 24 years old so the way to do it is get married three days later get divorced and then you're declared a an adult would you believe how the law is? Yes, it's discrimination against people that are not married. And that are discrimination against people that are 18 years old. You need your parents to sign your financial aid papers? They need to see your parents' income? This is the government trying to get in your business about if your parents, if your dad is rich or your mom's rich and they don't want to pay for your schooling, then. the government doesn't want to give you any loans okay that's fine it's fine just get married at 18 and get divorced or get married because she wants to get married and have a nice dress and, and all that stuff alright but then make sure you get divorced and don't live with her the creator and the creation are one God will answer my prayers if vividness of vision new sources of wealth God the Father blesses you with all he has to give make godly use of it I can and I will 
All right. Enjoy your life. Talk to you later on.